Hi folks, so um, yesterday I put out a video about control sequences, so if you haven't watched that, please watch that first, unless you know what you're doing. Because uh, this video is just going to be um, for examples, I'm going to be doing, uh, let's see, well, this, yeah, I was going through my notes and I saw a couple of examples here that would be good to go over. So RTS is a good one, and then just a basic add, so add would be like add A plus B. So those are the ones we're going to do, so let's start with RTS. Alright, number here, let's do this. Number one. So this is going to be part of our fetch phase, remember? So our address of our command is in PC. So we want to do PC out and get that address out of there. And we need to put it somewhere, so we're gonna put it uh, where is it? Oh uh, yeah, it's down here. We're gonna put it in MAR. Okay, so that's MIR in, in that case. And now we can do something with it, so we're going to read it. Now we have to increase the program counter, so we're going to do clear Y so that there's nothing in Y. C in, so that we put 1 inside of in. And then we add, so that's effectively just nothing plus 1, which is just 1 because that's how much we want to increase our program counter. Then that goes into the result, so the result is here, y is here, so it does something like this. Boop, 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 boop. This diagram doesn't actually have CN on it, which is kind of annoying, but if you see my ALU video or know anything about ALUs, you know that um, having a carry in is a pretty important part. Anyway, so the result comes out through there in the end. Okay, so that's step one. Now let's do step two. So step two, we're pulling that result result out, and now we have to do something with it. It's our increased program counter address, so we can just pop it right into PC again. And now since we increased PC, and we want to really make sure that the next guy is reading the right address, we do wait memory function complete. Now again, the fetch phase is consistent throughout all commands, so you can actually just memorize this if you don't understand this process and you'll at least get the fetch phase right. I mean I don't advise that you should probably learn it. It's not too too hard. I understand that it's a little complicated for for some people but um, just practice. Practice makes perfect. Just uh, study the diagram and all that. Anyway uh, so MDR out afterwards because when we read data gets put into MDR so now we have some data coming out and we want it to go into the instruction register so that we can use it and that means if I are in now so that's your fetch phase now we're going to get into the execution phase and RTS is actually pretty hmm simple if you know how to use stacks so we're going to be dealing with another address area that is in the, in the diagram and that's your stack pointer so when you do RTS remember that your program counter is at the top, top of the stack so if your stack looks like this you got data 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 when you're doing RTS your PC should be right at the top. So when you do SP out, you're popping this off, right? And that's good. That's exactly what we want. That top part is an address that we need to go to. We need to execute the next address. So SP out goes into MAR. Now we just do like we normally do. We read. We clear. We do. Uh, <clears throat> oops. Yeah. Clear Y. Now the C in. Add. Just gonna remove this. And then. 
ZN. Now the reason we're adding here is because when you have your stack and you have PC at the top, the PC is the last command that was executed. It's not the next one. We want the next command that's executed. So if you recall how to use um, subroutines and stuff, you'd have something like branch subroutine uh, loop, something like that. And then inside your loop subroutine, you would have RTS. So when when BSR is called, that's that's what your PC is. That's what it's going to look at. So you want to increase it by one so it executes the next thing after the BSR, which could be like add or something. It doesn't really matter. So that's why we add. We want to get the next command. Okay, and the program counter on top of the stack or the stack pointer now has to be updated so the result of Z goes back onto SP so we can use it we wait memory function complete so that we're using the right PC so that we can go on to the next uh, the next command and then finally 6 we do MDR out and that's from our read, that's our address. So MDR out, and then we pop that into the PC, and end. So this is where we, uh, we, we, put, we put the updated address back into PC so that uh, we can read the next command. So that's RTS. Um, now I'm going to keep the fetch phase there since again it's consistent. And we're going to do add. Add is super easy. Okay, so step one of the execution phase, or step four of the whole thing. We have a source and a destination. So we're going to do like we did in the last video. We're going to do our source out, so we can pull out our source variable. We're going to pop that into Y because we can just use the ALU now to add up stuff. And now we're going to do our destination out. So now we can grab the destination. That's going to get... I'm assuming... My answer here doesn't have X in or anything like that, but I'm assuming that when you do RDST out, to the ALU, it just gets put into X, so we can just add the two together. Um, to be on the safe side, you might want to do XN um, because the addition is used by the ALU. But just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna not do that. I'm just gonna assume that it's assumed that our DST goes into uh, X, and now we can add. That gets put into ZN. And then number six, we pull out the result from Z. And then we pop that into our destination because, again, we're writing to the destination. And then that's it. And so that one's pretty easy. So I hope you liked that video. I hope it helped out. Um, feel free to subscribe, like, whatever. You guys know the, uh, the routine by now, I suppose. <laughs> Well, yeah, happy studying.